Hey, I'm Ted Vieira, and this is just a quick photography tip. And it has to do with uh, you being able to improve your abilities uh, to be able to walk up to a scene uh, and meter it without any gear in your hands, uh, to be able to look at the scene, look at the ambient light, the light source, and uh, determine your exposure settings that you want to use on your camera uh, to be able to get the kind of shot you want to get. And you might be thinking, uh, man, <laughs> my gear does that for me. The light meter on my camera is great. My, uh, my light meter is great. Um, and you're right. That gear will give you the information you need, right? But in, the reason why you would want to maybe improve this ability to be able to do it without the gear is that it will give you a better understanding of light. It'll uh, help you be able to better evaluate light on how it relates to your exposure, uh, to your exposure settings. That's very cool, man. Um, that's basically upping your game as a photographer, giving you a better understanding of light and therefore like a better understanding of photography. Very cool. So if you do want to improve your ability in this area, um, you know, one thing that I mentioned in the last video I did was that I had a little light meter app on my phone. It's not as good as a regular uh, independent light meter, right? But the good thing about it is it's on my phone. So that means it's with me all the time, right? So here's the exercise. Say you see a scene and you know you want to shoot at F, uh, F2, right? Um, you know you want to keep an ISO of around 400. Uh, so you're probably going to need about 1 2 50th of a second for the shutter speed, right? So then what you do then is you uh, take out your light meter or your light meter app on your phone. You uh, set the settings um, for your aperture and your ISO because those are the two things you know you want to keep. Then you meter the scene and you get your expo you get your shutter speed, right? So you see how close you were, you know? And obviously you don't have to have a person in front of you to do this or at a photo shoot. You could be at your office. You could be working during the day. Uh, you know, look at your, your bookcase and expose for that, right? Meter for that. And then check and then meter the scene with your app. See how close you were. You could meter for your outbox. You know, see how close you were. You could meter for a, a motorcycle in the parking lot. Guess it and then meter it with your app. See how close you were. Um, you know, if you've been shooting for a long time and you pay attention to your exposure, you're going to be probably pretty good at this already. You probably have already got a good sense of, of being able to uh, meter a scene without gear. Um, but if you're new to photography, this is just an easy and kind of fun way that you can actually exercise that ability, you know, and develop that uh, skill set as a photographer. It is very valuable and it will uh, come in handy. Um, anyway, Hey, just an easy tip. The uh, light meter app that I use is um, My Light Meter Pro, and I'll put a link to it uh, down in the uh, description here on YouTube. You go check it out. I don't know that it's the best light meter app, so if you guys are using a light meter app that's extremely cool, let me know. Okay. Hey, I'm Ted Vieira. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll answer anything I can, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.